Candidate Application. This video seeks to guide you through the process of creating a candidate application on the Engineering Council of South Africa's self-service portal. To access the ECSA self-service portal, go on to the ECSA website. Under the Continuing Professional Development tab, click on ECSA Online Login. Alternatively, go to the external links and click on ECSA Online. Once you are on the landing page of the portal, you will see the five modules that speak to registration, professional development, accreditation and training, legal and compliance, as well as queries and complaints. To start the process, click sign up or sign in. You will be directed to a new page. If you are using the portal for the first time and do not have the profile with ECSA, do not create an account if you already have one. If you are not sure if you have, please send an email to engineer at ECSA for the ECSA team to assist. Click on Become Registered. If you have an existing profile, on the left side of the screen, you will see a table titled ECSA Members Login. Populate your username and password and click on Login. You will be directed to the landing page with the five modules. Click on Registration. You will be directed to a new page with Candidate and Professional Registration. For a candidate application, click on View More and you will be directed to the Candidate Registration Workspace. To start the process, click Create. Step 1. Read and accept the ECSA POPIA policy. Step 2. Verify your personal information and contact details and complete all mandatory fields. Step 3. Select your employer status. Employed, unemployed, self-employed or retired. When you click on Create, you would be required to add your employment history. You can add more than one employer. Step 4. If you selected Employed during Step 3, you'll be required to add your employer address. On this step, the residential address is auto-populated. If your postal and residential address are the same, you may select the option to copy residential address to postal address. Under the same step, you need to select the preferred billing address. Step 5. Select the registration category you're applying for, the discipline and the subdiscipline where applicable. Step 6. Add your qualification by selecting the institution, qualification obtained, date of graduation, and uploading the document. Please note, postgraduate qualifications as well as the outcome letter for the education evaluation, if applicable, may be added as supporting documents. Step 7. If you are a member of the recognized ECSA Voluntary Association, you will be required to indicate the membership number date of acceptance, name of association, as well as whether the membership is active or not. Step 8. Upload the certified ID copy or passport. Step 9. Accept the terms and conditions linked to the application. Once your application is submitted, you will receive a notification stating that your application has been submitted successfully. To check the status of your application, click on Home, Registration and Candidate Registration Workspace.